Hello, I'm Brian, and today we're going to discuss the difference between enterprise routers and industrial routers. Enterprise routers we'll generally see in office networks or data centers, and their primary purpose is to maybe serve as a corporate network, um, maybe providing internet access to your employees, setting up VPNs, or maybe cloud connectivity in general and they generally want to be stored indoors. Um, whereas on the other hand, industrial routers, they can be stored in harsher or more rugged environments. So these can include outdoors or areas that are, have a lot of equipment around, or maybe there are more prominent to dust or water exposure. And you see these in a lot of energy applications, factories, industrial plants. So now let's discuss the build quality and durability of these routers. So enterprise routers, they generally consist of more commercial grade products, not very temperature resistant because that's not what they're built for. They're built for indoor use. So maybe like the temperature range of exposure should be around zero to 40 degrees Celsius with not much range. But on the other hand, industrial routers, they're more rugged. They have like metal enclosures. So they are more resistant to like vibration, heat, or cold temperatures. Or for our IR series, they range from around negative 40 degrees Celsius to around 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. So enterprise routers, you generally have your data centers and you generally want to provide a high speed network and multiple network features. So that's where you would see enterprise routers. But with industrial routers, you kind of have more flexibility. But the primary purpose of industrial routers is to provide a stable internet connection. However, on top of that, you also have multiple ethernet ports. You have your RS-232 serial port, your RS-485 serial port, um, GPS maybe, and IO ports. And you would see those in more industrial-based production. Let's discuss deployment of these two routers. So for enterprise routers, you generally have them in server rooms or on a rack. You generally have maybe like IT teams or maybe like providers taking care of the network and they're using enterprise network management systems. For industrial routers, they're maybe like wall racked or like through a DIN rail and there's a high preference for cloud management since these devices are hard to reach. And maybe you have like over the air processes so you can upgrade firmware or like upgrade configurations over the air. So understanding the differences between these two products will help you find a router that is best for your applications.